civilization started to stagnate by the end of the Vedic age, 2500 BCE to 600 BCE. The coming of the Aryans. The Harappan civilization started to stagnate by 1500 BCE. Around this time, the Aryans began to arrive in India. Historians believe that the Aryans were a cultured race of people who lived in Central Asia. As their population grew, they had to move out of their homeland to look for new pastures for their animals and places to live. Some of them migrated to India and came to be known as the Indo-Aryans. The Aryans came to India in stages and gradually settled in the Gangetic Plains. The Phases of the Vedic Period there are two main phases of the Vedic period, the early Vedic period, 1500 BCE to 1000 BCE, and the later Vedic period, 1000 BCE to 600 BCE. During the early Vedic period, the Aryans settled in the Sapth Sindhu region and called it Brahmavatra or Land of the Gods. In the later Vedic period, the Aryans moved to the Gangetic Valley and named it Aryavarta or Land of the Aryans. Vedic Literature The religious literature of the Aryans are known as the Vedas. There are four Vedas, Rig Ved, Atharva Ved, Samaved and Yajur Ved. These texts were composed verbally and passed down orally from generation to generation till they were finally written down. Brahman, the Upanishads, the Puran, and the two epics, Ramayana and Mahabharat, are the other important religious texts of the Aryans. These books are collectively known as the Vedic literature. They tell us a great deal about the social, religious, economic, and political life of the people during this period. Political Organization During the early Vedic period, the Aryans organized themselves into tribes called Janna. Each Janna consisted of many villages called Gram. The head of the Gram was the Gramani. The head of all the tribes was the Rajan or king who protected the tribe from the enemy. The Sabha and the Samiti were two councils which advised and guided the king. He was also assisted by the Purohit, religious advisor, and the Senani, commander-in-chief of the army. During the later Vedic period, the small tribes grew into large kingdoms. The king became very powerful and kingship became hereditary. The kings were assisted by many officials who were in charge of different departments. Many rituals and sacrifices, yagna, like the Rajasu yagna and the Ashvamedha yagna, were performed to confer supreme power on the king. Family life. During the early Vedic period, the joint family system was prevalent. The head of the house was the Grihapati. Women had a very important position in society. In the later Vedic period, the joint family became much stronger. Women lost their position in the society and were considered inferior to men. Education. The teacher imparted education to the students in his home. This was known as the Gurukul system of education. The students lived in the teacher's home and helped him with his household work. They paid the Guru Dakshana or fees when they finished their studies. Women also received education, but this stopped in the later Vedic period. Food The Aryans ate wheat, barley, maize, fruits and vegetables. Soma and Sura were two intoxicating drinks they enjoyed drinking. They also occasionally ate meat. Dress The Aryans wore an unstitched garment to cover their lower bodies. They had a shawl to cover their upper bodies. Both men and women wore ornaments. Turban-like headgear was also worn. Recreation The Aryans were fond of hunting and chariot racing. They also enjoyed dance, music, art and board games. Classification of Society The Aryan society was divided into four classes or Varnas on the basis of people's occupation. The four Varnas were Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras. Brahmanas were priests and scholars. Kshatriyas were warriors. 
Vaishyas were farmers, traders and craftspeople. Shudras were laborers who did menial jobs. The classification of society into four varnas became rigid and hereditary in the later Vedic period. The four classes came to be known as castes. Once caste was determined by birth, and a person born in a particular caste could not change his profession or caste. The four ashram. The life of an Aryan was divided into four stages or ashram. Brahmacharya was the first stage when a person stayed with his guru and received education. Grihast was the second stage when a person married and led the life of a householder. Vanaprast was the third stage when one gave up worldly life and went to the forest to meditate. Sanyas was the last stage when one became an ascetic. Economic Life of the Aryans In the early Vedic period, the Aryans who were nomads began to settle down. They practiced agriculture and reared livestock. Other than those involved with agriculture, there were also chariot makers, potters, leather workers and weavers. By the later Vedic period, the Aryans led a settled life. Agriculture became their main occupation. They improved their farming implements and became prosperous. The towns and cities grew during this period. Trade developed by the barter system. During this time, many people used painted grey vessels which have been found in many sites in northern India. Religion The Aryans used to worship one supreme power who created the universe. They also worshipped the forces of nature in the forms of gods and goddesses. The most important god was Indra, the god of rain and thunder. Other gods were Varuna, the god of water, and Surya, the sun god. During the early Vedic period, there were no idols or temples. They worshipped their gods in the open. The yagnas were performed by the brahmanas and all the family members participated. In the later Vedic period, the earlier gods lost their importance. Brahma, the creator, Shiv, the destroyer, and Vishnu, the preserver, now gained importance. The mode of worship became complex and many elaborate ceremonies and rituals were performed. Buddhism and Jainism By the end of the later Vedic period, many evil practices crept into society in the name of religion. The religion became complex, the Brahmanas became very powerful and exploited the common people through the various rites and rituals that they introduced. The lower caste people were discriminated against. Two preachers, Vardhaman Mahavir and Gautam Buddha, started reform movements to weed out the problems that had come into society in the name of religion. Jainism The 24th and last Thirthankar teacher of the Jains was Vardhaman Mahavir. He was born a prince in 599 BCE near Vaishali. At the age of 30, he gave up his life of luxury in search of the truth. After 12 years of penance and meditation, he gained spiritual knowledge he became the Jinnah or the conqueror of the self. His philosophy is known as Jainism and his followers are called Jains. Mahavira preached non-violence or ahimsa. The Jains do not believe in harming any living creature. Mahavira did not believe in the existence of God and opposed all religious rites and rituals. He believed that all people are equal. Mahavira died at the age of 72 in 468 BCE in Pavapuri in Bihar. Buddhism Siddharth, later known as Gautam Buddha, was born in Lumbini near Kapilavastu in 567 BCE. He was a prince, married to Princess Yashodhara and had a son named Rahul. One day, Siddharth saw an old man, a sick man, a dead body and an ascetic. He was deeply saddened by these sights, which changed his life completely. At the age of 29, he left his home in search of truth. After six years, while meditating under a people tree in Bodhgaya, he attained enlightenment and became the Buddha. He gave his first sermon at the deer park in Sarnath. Buddha's religious philosophy is called Buddhism and those who follow the teachings of Buddhism are known as Buddhists. Teachings of Buddhism The main tenets of Buddhism are contained in the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path. 
Four Noble Truths The world is full of suffering. The cause of suffering is human desire. Suffering ends when human desire is overcome. If desire is conquered, one can attain nirvana or freedom from the cycle of birth and rebirth. Eightfold Path Right Belief Right Speech Right Means of Livelihood Right Memory Right Thought Right Action Right Effort Right Meditation Buddha taught people to lead a simple life and follow Ahimsa. He did not believe in caste system. Buddhist viharas and monuments are found in many places. His followers travelled from place to place to spread his teachings. Buddha died in 483 BCE at the age of 80.